What's going on guys, it's me Panjano and as you can see there you go um, it is the 26th of December and the version 12 firmware for the X key has just been released in this video I'm going to show you how to update your X key um, to a newer firmware so first of all when you're on your X key you should know how to set it up go to the about X key folder and then it will show you in the second one down it will say app and then it will say the version mine is 0 uh, 0 0.01.11 so it's the version 11 firmware and then also it tells you your drive in that so you just go back back into the emulation mode and what you need is you're going to need a flash drive or a hard drive with nothing on it um, and you can plug it into your PC or laptop and first of all what we need to do is Ignore that. Go onto it, right click on it, press format, and I want you to select NTFS because that's like the only file system uh, X keys works with. Then it'll say this, just press OK, and it will do its thing. Let it do its little thing and it should say successfully complete or whatever in a minute. There we go. Uh, format complete. Alright, so just press OK and you can exit off of that. And then go and open your version 12 firmware folder. Uh, you can configure your xkey.cfg if you want to. Drag all of these files just onto the USB like that. So on your, on your USB, you should just have these files, just those three files. And then what you need to do is to make sure you definitely get this right, go down here, right click on that, and eject data traveler, and it should say a little pop up safe to eject it, there you go, and then just pull it out. Take it over to your X key, bear with me a second here, get your X key and plug in the USB. And then it just says updating automatically because it, it's read it. And while it's doing that, <coughs> it should say that for like a couple of seconds at least for some to keep it stable. So it says updating. Please wait. As you can see, the Xbox, nothing's happening with the Xbox. You can just shoot Karen using the Xbox and it still just says updating. I'm using the one with the green light, by the way. I'm just using that to power my iPod that I'm recording with. Um, still updating, please wait. This is the revision um, 7 2, by the way, of the X key. Uh, that should. It normally does take about 35 seconds per update, so don't worry if your jewels is taking a little bit long. And there we go, update complete, reset, Xbox. So what you need to do now is you need to turn off your Xbox. Oops, just turn it off quickly. And make sure the fans shut off. It will then freeze there. And hold on one second, I'm just stand on my iPod again. And basically what you want to do is you want to remove the USB and remove this. And then put it back in. Boot up the Xbox. Sometimes the X key does freeze on this little logo. Don't worry if it does, you just unplug the USB thingy and then plug it back in. So the Xbox is now booting back up. And there we go, emulation. Scroll down to about X key, and there you go. Uh, it says, I'm not sure if you can see that. I'm going to try and make it so you can. Uh, I think you can probably just see that. It says app 01.12. So we're on the version 12 of the X key now. And you can just plug in your hard drive as normal. 
And now I'm going to show you how to use an X key if you don't already know how to use one. Let me just uh, focus a bit into the X key screen. If you can just bear with me one minute. There we go. Alright, so uh, at the top you'll have an option that says select game. Click on that. And then you've got your hard drive there. So mine, it, mine's called Samsung, so it's a Samsung. Select that by using, as you can see, I'm not sure if you can see in this light. Let me just turn on another light. Oh, God. Alright, um, there are three buttons on the X key. Uh, there you go, three buttons. So you got a down one, a, a middle one, and the top one. If you want to go back, you just hold down the middle one. And that's the easiest way to go back. I know there is a crack on my X key screen. Right, so, and now I've got all my games in folders here. So you can just go into whatever, Call of Duty. All my cards, um, the German one for free, normal one for free. Uh, just to prove to you that this works after the, you can sort of see me. After the uh, DAE in December, I'll load Modern Warfare 3. It says open tray. So we'll push the Xbox back over there. And uh, just sign in to live. I do have a legit copy of Modern Warfare 3. Just to show you, I have a legit copy of all my cards. But just to show you, I'm going to be booting it. There's my copy of Modern Warfare 3. Uh, so, there you go. Right. So, X key's still sat there. What you want to do is you want to press open tray on the Xbox, and then the light will flash, but nothing will happen, and then it will say close tray. And then it just says Xbox 360 automatically selects the ISO. Play game. Play Modern Warfare 3. And if you want to eject games, just simply press Y. It says tray opening. And then you can then select other games that you have. So I can then go and select something like Need Speed to Run. Um, and just. Oh my god, the zoom on this, it's horrible. Focus, sorry. Anyway, just say need for speed to run. I'm not sure if you can't really see that at all. You can just see a white bar. And no games found. Need for speed to run, right. And then it will say Xbox 360. And then it says closing tray. And then it just says... 360 NFS the run and then there you go play new speed the run oh. Toby room foot nut uh, disconnected from Xbox Live and uh, yeah we've got an update and there's the proof of the date it's the 12th it's 26 of the 12th so there you go there's proof and that's how to update and use an X key uh, on Xbox Live or whatever. Um, to set up your X key's hard drive, you just need to format it to NTFS. This is a terabyte um, Samsung S2 hard drive. So, yeah, there you go. There's proof of it working. And it is on the X key. And just to prove to you that I was not using a different Xbox, on the back of this one, you can see. Just about see, just show them over here. Just about see the X keys, um, the X keys USB dongle thing. I don't want to unplug it because it will probably uh, it will undo my X key. But there you go. There's proof, and to show you, I'm online. Um, should go to my friends list. Uh, so yeah, I am online. I'll even join a party for you guys. Uh, go to join his party. I don't want to show you my gamer tag, really, but I don't know why it's taking so long.
and there you go, I'm in the party. So there you go guys, that's how to update and use an XQ oh, for Xbox. I don't know why that's gone like really dark. But yeah, that's how to update and use an XQ for your Xbox. And you can see it says new speed as well. So see you later guys. That's how to update your Xbox. X keys, Xbox, whatever. See you later.